Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. When this dam opens, this happens. One thing about today's video, we'll be looking at an amazing force that's been maintaining harmony and order on our planet for over a century. Even the most insignificant elements of it have its meaning and purpose. We're talking about beautiful Mother Nature and how some of the largest dams in the world work. Just for example, the rivers crossing all existing continents that make up these dams. Rivers have helped people survive since prehistoric times. How? Let's start with the fact that they're a great source of drinking water and food. You can agree with me that without rivers, it would be so impossible for people in such times to irrigate the lands and carry people and goods from one settlement to another. But in spite of all that, in order to feel and live safely near deep rivers, people have to make certain interventions. Let's take you way back since ancient times. Human beings were building dams on the waterways so as to adjust the flow of water. With that said, we shall be looking at how these dams work and even go to the extent of showing you the terrifying consequences caused by mistakes in designing dams. But before we delve deeper into it, let us first educate you for a while. What's actually the purpose of building dams? The main goal of building dams is to prevent floods. In some parts of the world which are particularly humid regions, the water level can rise so high following heavy rains, and this can result in catastrophic flooding. On top of that, dams are often built to create a water reservoir, which subsequently can be used for both general purposes and for agricultural needs. After diverting the waterway, the water in the valley spills and forms a perfect reservoir for such purposes. But there's a glitch to this. Unfortunately, it often floods a large area around it. Now, this is why it's of high importance to evacuate the people living around before the construction of large dams. And despite all these benefits, the dam can also pose a serious danger to locals. Even Western experts have repeatedly expressed their concern about its reliability and predicted that if they burst, human and agricultural losses could reach an incredible scale. That said, let us take a look at some of the greatest and largest dams in the world. Number 5. Jinping Ai Dam Also known as the Jinping Ai Hydropower Station or Jinping First Cascade, is a tall arch dam on the Yolong River Jinping Ben in Langshan, Sichuan, China. Construction of the project began in 2005 and finished in 2014. Its power plant has a capacity of 3,600 megawatts to generate 16 to 18 terawatt hours. One interesting fact about this dam located in China is that the construction of this giant dam was carried out by local specialists despite a particularly high seismological hazard. What this means is that the risks of earthquakes in this area are so great that engineers face the challenging task to build an extremely durable structure. It was supposed to withstand not only tremors, but also the consequences of earthquake-like landslides and flooding. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! Number 4. Hoover Dam This is one of the most famous sites on the outskirts of Las Vegas. Hoover Dam is a concrete arch-gravity dam in the Colorado River's Black Canyon on the border between Nevada and Arizona in the United States. Established during the Great Depression between 1931 and 1936, it was dedicated by President Franklin D. Roosevelt on the 30th of September 1935. Its construction resulted from a huge effort involving thousands of employees, costing more than a hundred lives. Originally known as the Boulder Dam from 1933, it was formally renamed Hoover Dam by a joint resolution of Congress in 1947 after President Herbert Hoover. However, one downside, the construction resulted in many lost lives. Some of the building works were carried out in the tunnels, where the workers suffered from carbon monoxide poisoning. 
This result left many men physically disabled for the rest of their lives, and a huge percentage of them lost their lives at the dam site. But what would happen if the Hoover Dam broke down? It's hard to imagine what could cause such a split. Maybe some sort of huge explosion, an incredible natural disaster, or an equally incredible human error. But the first thing that will happen is that it will break the dam-created reservoir, Lake Mead. This lake at full pool is the largest reservoir in the United States by volume. It has ample ability to hold the entire Colorado River average annual flow for two years. As recently as 2016, up to 9 trillion gallons, 34 trillion liters of water, was at Lake Mead but the lake currently contains around 3.5 trillion gallons because of the drought conditions in the west. Now, if 3.5 trillion gallons of water were unexpectedly loosened, it would certainly wreak havoc on everything in its way. This dam is so impressive that it attracts tourists from all over the world each and every single year. Would you ever risk a visit to this dam? Number 3. Derriner Dam the next humongous dam is the Dariner Dam, the double-curved concrete arch dam on the Kora River, 5 kilometers east of Ardvin Province, Turkey. The main aim of the dam is the generation of hydroelectric power and, moreover, flood control. Construction on the dam began in 1998, filling of the reservoir in February 2012 and completion of the power station by February 2013. It will have a powerhouse of 670 megawatt and is Turkey's tallest dam. The dam is being implemented by the State Hydraulics Works of Turkey and designed by a consortium of Turkish, Russian, and Swiss companies. The dam is named after Ibrahim Dariner, who passed away while working as its development team's chief engineer. Hydraulic model experiments were carried out for the construction of the surface spillways. Any negative pressures in the critical bends of the inclined spillway tunnels could be removed by proper aeration. The tests proved that the aeration facilities would be adequate at two positions in each pipe, roughly just before and after the tunnel's horizontal curve to avoid cavitation. In the central upper portion of an arch dam, tensile stresses which exceed the dynamic tensile strength of the mass concrete occur during very strong ground shaking. Since the tensile strength of the grouted vertical contraction joints and the horizontal lifting joints is lower than that of the parent mass concrete, the contraction joints may be opened, and horizontal cracks may form along the lifting joints. Today, this dam is able to generate power for 750,000 houses in Turkey. Such huge dams are dangerous as it could lead to a full-scale catastrophe. Such huge dams are dangerous as it could lead to a full-scale catastrophe. Extreme flooding and heavy earthquake ground shaking are the principal hazards during regular activity. And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber, so if you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. Number 2. Sayano-Shushkinskaya Dam The hydroelectric power station Sayano-Shushkinskaya sits on the Yenisei River. It was the largest hydroelectric power plant in Russia and the sixth largest hydroelectric power plant in the world before the accident. The system is run by Rus Hydro. Rus Hydro recorded the all-time highest electricity production for the station per 24 hours on the 2nd of July 2009. The type of turbines used at this power plant have a very narrow working band with high output regimes. If this band is surpassed, the turbines start vibrating, caused by the pulsation of water flow and strokes of water. Those shocks and vibrations cause the turbines to fail over time. Turbine 2 had long been experiencing issues before the crash in 2009. The accident that happened in this gorgeous dam became the biggest man-made disaster in modern Russian history. It happened 11 years ago and cost 75 people their lives. The incident occurred at 8.13 local time on the 17th of August 2009. 
There was a sudden boom from Turbine 2. The turbine cover shot up and then fired the 920-ton rotor out of its seat. According to some critics, the reason behind the tragedy lies in the mistakes of the Soviet engineers from the 1970s when they designed the dam. The bigger part of the station resumed its work in 2014, and since then, engineers claim we're safe, as 40 billion rubles were allocated for repairing and improving the power station, and given the proper maintenance, it can serve for another 100 years. Number 1. Vajant Dam In northern Italy, the Vajant Dam is a disused dam. It's one of the world's tallest dams, being 262 meters high. It's situated in the Vajant Valley below Monte Toc, in the municipality of Erto e Caso, 100 kilometers north of Venice. The construction of this 262-meter-high dam began in the 1920s and was finalized in 1957. And two years later, the filling of the reservoir began. This reservoir subsequently became the cause of the deaths of 2,500 local people. The problems arose because the construction site was located on the Monte Toc Mountain, which is infamous for its history of landslides. This was actually the reason the locals were against building the dam. But like most local authorities, they didn't listen. By 1960, the water level in the reservoir reached 190 meters, all because of the landslide debris that fell right into it. In autumn 1963, the water level reached critical values, 25 meters more, and the dam would be overtopped. And that's exactly what happened on October 9th, 1963. About 160 million cubic meters of forest earth and rock fell into the reservoir. A huge wave resulting from the landslide swallowed long around several villages. While the dam itself remained almost intact and two-thirds of the water was kept behind it, the landslide was much greater than anticipated, and the impact brought the Piave Valley below significant flooding and devastation. Most of the survivors fled to a newly founded village, Vajant, 50 kilometers southeast on the plain of the Tagliamento River. Those in Erto e Caso, who insisted on returning to their mountain life, were deeply dismayed. Longarone and the other Piave Valley villages with new houses and farms have been restored. The government used the tragedy to accelerate northeastern Italy's industrialization. Survivors were entitled to business startup loans, public incentives, and a 10-year tax exemption all of which they could sell on to the Venice region's major corporations. Then those concessions were turned elsewhere, into millions of lira for industrial plants. Money policies didn't specifically differentiate between victims and those living nearby. Thus, much of the money went to those who would cause no harm generating a negative public image. In order to keep the lake at a constant level, a pumping station was built in the dam basin, and the bypass gallery was extended beyond the dam to allow the water to run down into the Piave Valley. The dam wall is still in place and maintained, but no attempts are being made to exploit it. Since 2002, the dry, landslip-filled basin has been open to tourists. That's all we had for you today. Do you think that all dams are safe? Do you think you could live comfortably near one? And what amazed you today? Let us know in the comments down below.